it's time for another Cocoon P2P video tutorial and this time I'll be showing accelerometer data so we'll be building a mobile client that runs on an Android phone and we'll have a desktop client that gets back accelerometer data from the sensor on the mobile phone and then to finish off we'll use that sensor data in an existing game to control a car driving around on the screen lots to do I'll show you how to get started. First of all, our mobile client. For this, we can use the new Flex Mobile project in Flash Builder 4.5. And I'll create a project called Cocoon Accelerometer. And click Next. I'll choose a blank project here. I don't want it to automatically reorient, and it can be full screen. And I'll click next and I don't need to set anything here so I can click finish okay you'll know by now what we have to do as always we'll have to link the cocoon p2p project into our code so we'll add the library project and click OK now the mobile client will be very easy the only thing I'll do here is set up that tag the local network discovery tag set a channel name here and I'll say accelerometer interval equals 500 what we're telling the code here is that every 500 milliseconds so twice a second we want to send the information from the mobile sensor to any client on the net group that is listening twice a second we will get the X Y and Z rotation of the phone at that moment in time over the Wi-Fi channel sent to the peer-to-peer -peer net group this is our mobile uh, app now if you're using accelerometer data you won't be able to test it on the desktop so what we'll have to do is plug in a device I have a Google Nexus one here and I can debug this so I click the debug button and you'll see that we get this debug configurations panel so you could test it on the desktop if you had sensor information but this time we want to use the accelerometer data so we're going to test it on the actual device over USB so I have my phone plugged in here and when I debug it it will show up on my device so it just takes a few seconds to compile, contact the phone, install it and launch it. And once that's done, I'll have it here on my device and I can um, get the information of my accelerometer sensor. Okay, so the mobile client is already built. I'll use a simple desktop client now just to see it coming back. For this, I can use a flex project. I'll make it web based and I'll say cocoon accelerometer desktop and click finish you can guess it I have to link in our cocoon p2p project so I'll go to the build path and add it here Oops. so that's linked in now and what I can do is set up our tag again so I'll say local network discovery give it a name and now I'm going to listen for an event and the event that comes back here is accelerometer update we can generate the handler for that and we close our tag here now in this handler we can get back some information the accelerometer data and the client where it comes from so the X Y and Z information I can jump into design view and take a few labels here so I'll take one label I'll say acceleration X I'll copy that drag it down and rename that to acceleration Y copy that one down and call it acceleration Z 
and copy that one down and I'll make one that says client now I can just take some text input fields and drag them out here as well one for the X one for the Y one for the Z and one for the client name and I'll give those names so I'll say um, ACCX underscore text I'll call this one ACCY underscore text I'll call this one ACCZ underscore text and I'll call this one client underscore text all these um, text inputs have their ID and we can use that in our handler here so I can say in our acceleration handler acc x dot underscore text dot text equals event dot acceleration and I can take acceleration x so I can copy this twice and apply it for the y and the z values as well make sure we change the property name here and then we can use it for client text dot text as well and we can say event dot acceleration dot client and then we can just take the peer ID for example we're getting some errors and the errors are that I'm getting numeric values for acceleration X Y and Z and if I'm applying it to a text I'll have to convert it to a string first so I can just make these all string values and close the brackets here so I'm casting those numbers to a string and that should be it I'll run this code in my browser and it's waiting there to get information and I'll go to the mobile client again and I'll debug that one so it's launching on my phone which is connected over USB now let's open the browser again and I'll move my phone around a bit and you can see that now I'm getting back information the X Y and Z values twice a second and you can see the client name here now in this case I only have one client connected the accelerometer data is coming from one client if you wanted to do multiplayer games you would have multiple clients and you would see that changing depending on which message you get so that's pretty cool now this is not really a real world case I have one simple app that I built a while ago with some students and it's a simple car game using keyboard shortcuts so you can use your arrow keys to drive it around I'll just run this and show you how it works you can basically just drive this car around on the screen go backwards forwards just using the arrow keys here now of course it would be cool if you could use the accelerometer data for that so I'll show you how we can do that obviously I'll show you that in this project now I've already linked in our cocoon p2p library so what I'll need to do is set up the tag to listen on the channel I'll say ID is channel and I'll have to say accelerometer update and this accelerometer update will trigger a function that already exists here in this game there's a function called process input which as you can see takes keyboard shortcuts it takes the the codes and it depends on this to decide whether to steer left right or straight forward whether to throttle or to brake I'm going to use that process input function and assign it to accelerometer update so I can say process input pass it an event 
and I'm going to get an error and that error is the fact that I pass in an event and this process input function doesn't have an event yet so I'll have to change that now luckily just to save some time I prepared this earlier and I updated the function to use accelerometer information so I'll just replace this function here process input I'll paste in the new function and explain how this works first of all let's import the acceleration event okay so what we're doing here is rather than checking for keystrokes we're checking for the acceleration x value to steer left or right so if it's bigger than minus 0 0.1 then we're going to steer to the left if it's smaller than 0 0.1 then we're going to steer to the right and if not if it's anywhere between those values we're just going to steer straight forward for the acceleration z we're going to say if it's larger than minus 0 0.1 we're going to throttle we're going to increase the speed of our car otherwise we're going to basically not do anything and then if the acceleration z is smaller than 0 0.1 we're going to apply the brakes and eventually drive backwards as well one more error here to fix in our code we have a function that calls this process input we can just remove that now because we've already linked it in to the accelerometer information now I can run this game again and our keystrokes won't do anything anymore we disabled that but when I go to the mobile client now and I run it again on my phone I'll debug it so this takes a little bit to install I'll leave the car game open when that launches it'll connect to the net group and the accelerometer information will start feeding through and I can actually drive this car using the accelerometer data so moving forward I can give extra throttle I can move backwards I can move left I can move right that's what I wanted to show you accelerometer data from a mobile phone to a desktop game over P2P with Cocoon P2P hope you liked it see you next time